Hi guys, <clears throat> and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. And we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at your weekly energy reading, carrying you through the time frame of December 3rd through December the 10th for the beautiful sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aqua. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. We're going to be doing this in an energy of love this week. Love energy that surrounds you. And we're going to be doing a love energy um, reading for you if you are in separation, no contact, broke up, those type of situations. Um, the person that you clicked on the video for is what we are calling it. But it is going to be um, take place of your weekly energy reading. Now, I am going to read these cards. I'm going to read the cards and I'm going to read them intuitively. And I'm setting this up for you. All right, then I'm going to go in and clarify with the tarot, and then I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this with what else you need to know about the connection, okay? The base, the, based upon the cards, they will tell us, as you're staring at this while I'm talking, they will tell us basically the state of this relationship. But I am approaching all of these from a standpoint of this is already over, all right? So let's get popping. Still listening and unblock me. Both of these cards, before I read them, you are crossing with other energies. Still listening, for example. Let's start there. Still listening is you could be crossing with an Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Unblock me, you are crossing with an Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I suggest that you go and watch for them. They're cross-watching for you, and you can be cross-watching for them, all right? I think there are several people. For, I think it was two for the unblock me. Let's see. Let me see. I feel like Scorpio had that as well. Let me check. So, of course, unblock me is Aries. Unblock me is also Virgo, all right? And let's see. Yes, so you're crossing with an Aries and a Virgo on the unblock me. And the still listening was also Aries. That's crazy. Dang. Okay. Was it still listening? Yep. Aries had that. I feel like somebody else still had that. Let me check. Um, not, Nobody on the other channels? No. Okay. Um, I feel like I said that to someone else, though. Aries has both of those. So you definitely could have that Aries in your chart. Um, but yes. So let's get into this, Aquarius. This person is listening to the music that you've shared with them. It helps them to connect with you even though you guys are apart. So this is a relationship that is over with. I miss you and I want to connect with the unblock me. Please unblock me literally or energetically so we can speak. I have a lot to say. A lot of things that were unanswered in this connection. And finally, you're my favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have, when I have news to share, you're my person. Interestingly enough, there is a client of mine who has an Aquarius moon. And I tell her. All of the time that this is how her ex feels. She not trying to hear it though. Because she got a damn Aquarius moon. But this is what this is going to be. Someone still looks at you as a person who they like your intellectual conversation. Someone here misses talking to you. Was there a, a song that you guys shared? The situation ended badly. But you guys still have some music. And they listen to the music hoping and hoping, hoping and hoping that you will somehow open up Aquarius and reach out to them, um, whether you will allow them to come through. You've blocked them either literally or energetically. The client that I'm speaking of did not block the person, but she ignores his text messages. She's acknowledged them, but she don't give them no smoke. She don't, she don't allow him to take up no, well, he takes up plenty of rent-free space. She knows who she is, but she doesn't let him know that. You know how the, you Leos can get if you are a Leo in Aquarius. Um, but they still feel like you're their favorite person. She's often asked me, Marv, if he's doing so good 
I don't understand why he needs to reach out and da da da. All it does is hurt me and da 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 da. Well, first of all, he is or she is or whoever this person is. There's been enough um, enough time that has went past to them. And they feel like you guys had some type of conversation. They feel like there is no closure that needs to happen. Um, they don't feel that way. So there's obviously it's unclear on how this relationship ended because I'm intuitively feeling like they don't understand why you would feel that way if you feel that way. They feel like you're still the person that they want to call when something good or bad is happening. They want to be. So in other words, Aquarius, they want to friend zone you and you may not be for that shit. You're like, no, I'm not. You didn't done me wrong. Like I'm an Aquarius. They're like you didn't already done me wrong. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not allowing you to take up no space in my head or none of that. Sorry. Go, on, go where it's good at is what I'm feeling. Okay. Why still listening here for Aquarius? So that's the reason why. If you were wondering why. A person who you ain't dealing with is still trying to call on you is because you're their favorite person. They did you wrong. It may be a contradiction, but don't let it contradict you too much because you, you are known as the sign of being contradictory because yourself. And it's not because you try. It's just a lot of the times you feel one way one moment and then it changes. This person is the same way, but I see how it changes that contradictory crap don't make no sense when folks want to come to you and do it, do it. <laughs> and it's funny because I know a few, trust me. And it's like, it, it's okay for them to change their mind. But somebody can't feel the same way about them. So just know it goes both ways. All right, so you are coming up in this still listening. They have hope, healing, and optimism that they can repair this. You definitely overgave in the situation, Aquarius. This person was passionate. You were more grounding. Um, they could be, um, um, a, they're coming in as a king of wands, um, a king of wands who is definitely interested in everything, um, but did not have the financial means, unfortunately, to um, go after some of these pursuits that they wanted. Their creativity is bigger than their pockets was, and you could have poured in to this individual if there was a song before i move on um they are listening to that song they they have goods and bads in their life they could feel like that you were a better friend i don't know what happened to take this situation to the next level you've definitely blocked this individual from your energy but this is the reason why this person may still call you to this day and for that aquarius moon and leo sun this is why he still calls okay because you're his favorite person, just not in the way you want to be. And it's up to you to accept it. Clarify, unblock me, please. Why is unblock me here? Well, it's very clear why it's here, but I want to know the origins of this unblock me spirit. Thank you. And we have the moon. Well, they go up and down. They went up and down, play with your emotions. You ain't got no time for nobody to be playing with you. Um, you're not going to unblock them. You don't care whether they miss you because they're not missing you in the way that you may miss them. They're not missing you in the way you feel used. You feel taken advantage of and you want and this could be again them to you or you to them. If you're the one that still want to reach out, they don't want to mess with you. Take it as it resonates. OK, but back to the point. Thank you, spirit. What do we have? We got the moon and we got the ten of cups. Yep. So, Aquarius, you love this person. Sun, moon, rising to Venus. You did. And I feel like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. This person was a wish fulfilled for you. And in some, and to some extent, this is coming out. Remember, I'm clarifying this card. You were they wish for fulfillment as well. Ace of Cups. They really did love you back. But I feel like not the same way. I feel like this person knew that they could not give you what you needed. I don't know whether they said that to you. They do love you. They were in love with you. And everything that they felt with you was real. Okay. But they went up and down about it. They were up and down. They possibly didn't realize that this love was real until they left. But that's still a part of this energy that feels like um, 
they friend zone you. Although they realize they love you, they're going to always love you. They don't want a brand new beginning. I'm feeling like this Ace of Cups is describing how you feel, Aquarius. If you talk to this person, you're going to fall back in love with their ass. And that's really what it is because you haven't, you, maybe you haven't stopped. This person has gone through um, highs and lows. They want to share things with you, good or bad. And I feel like this Ace of Cups is describing what they're dealing with. When they get new love, when they get a new job, when they lose money, when they win money, they want to share it with you. They miss the intellectual conversation that they had with you. You are their favorite person. Clarify this. I feel like this person has went through hell since you guys um, have not been together. And they got their karma back already. But I don't feel like you're ready to allow the Lord to deal with them. You would rather deal with them yourself. Um, yep, seven wands. So... They defend this, too. They defend the fact that they want to talk to you. You can be still blocking them, but I'm telling you, it's people in their life that feel like, why the hell are you bothering, you know, Aquarius? Leave Aquarius alone. Okay. But they, they still feel like you are their favorite, and they don't want to leave you alone. You know, they don't bother you all the time, but they still bother you. Um, seven of wands to the eight of cups. They're defending the fact that they walked away. And that could be what pisses you off. Cause you feel like if I'm your favorite person, then why did you leave? I understand how that fixed energy works. This don't make no sense. I'm your favorite, but what, there shouldn't be a, but I understand how you guys think. And, um, I have fixed energy in my inners as well. So I get it. It's not air. It's earth. But they do. They they defend the fact that they walked away. They felt like walking away was for the best, but you are still their favorite person. Now, are you going to accept that? Because I do believe, especially for that um, Leo with that Aquarius moon, who I'm talking to right now, I have told her as her spiritual advisor that if she talks to this person and just once and for all come clean about how she felt, she can begin to process this over my, you know, years of counseling. But she is a damn Aquarius moon and a Leo double fix. So, you know, although she definitely appreciates what I say, she still got to see it her way. And Leo has come out here, too. So some of you guys, when we got all this, we got seven of wands to the eight of wands. Then we got um, this um, eight of cups to the strength. So this is Cancer is in the mix. Pisces or Scorpio. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the mix and then more strength. I think it's more so about convincing herself. OK. Um, top of the deck is the seven of cups. And yes, I am confirming and clarifying that at one point you guys were a, a, a item. You guys were because this empress that's at the bottom of the deck lets me know that you guys were birthing something new. But I think that ultimately that king of wands and this person they're better if they roam. You were more grounded than they were, um, Aqua. I've already told you that. What else does Aqua need to know? Habits. Yep. I don't know if I'll ever change. This person has habits, that king of wands. Typically, a king of wands is a little bit more together. But compared to you, they were. Not, if that had been a king of pentacles, then yes. You're more grounding. They're more passionate. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to, to gain clarity, and, they, and it has. This person has clarity about the situation, and they want to be your friend. Mistakes. I wish I can right my wrongs. Top of the deck. You are a better person than I am. I am unworthy. Bottom of the deck. Our love will always be there despite the difference. This person wants to be, you are their favorite person. Despite the fact that this relationship is over, you are their favorite person. So if you clicked on this video, want to know what the hell Marv had to say, and that person that just, you know, told you one thing but showed you another popped up in your head, this was what they were dealing with. This is why they still call. This is why you give them the cold shoulder and they still, that they still call. They know that they made those mistakes, but they're hoping that you know, you guys can be friends. And you may not be okay with that, Aqua. You don't want to hear about what they're doing with somebody else. I mean, I was just talking to uh, Leo Aqua last night, and she was telling me 
Marv, I don't know how you were able to do such and such. We were just talking. I think we were talking about she going to get she going to be amused when she hears this video. I think we were talking about something with me watching a ex of an ex walk in and I was with this guy and she was like, I don't know if I could have done that. I'm like, why? Why not? Like, this is exactly how it's a uh, I'm I can't see you with someone else. I can't envision is that fix that double fix. It's like, no, in my head, this is how we envision it. This is how it goes. And that unfortunately is to her debt uh, until to her detriment. Although I love her like a fat kid loves cake. All right. And this is where we end Aqua. So this is what it is. So I'm going to tell you that although it did not, although the romantic part of the relationship ended, you're still their favorite person and they really want to be a part of your life. I'll say that in so many words, like share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe. Everything you need is in the description box for you and your collective. And I'll see you next week when we do it again. Bye guys.